Welcome back, everybody. My name is Tim. This is another Real Ideal Gear review, and today we're looking at a flashlight direct from AliExpress. I'm not exactly sure what the model number is on this. Uh, when I bought it, it was the P120. This says W5119. I'm not exactly sure what model number this flashlight is. All I can tell you is that this is the way this flashlight showed up at my front step. There was another box, and that box was equally as crushed as this one. And I'm just not impressed at all with how the, how the package was shipped from China. Now, keep in mind that when I bought this, I paid $8.50 some cents for it. And I was really curious to see what an $8 flashlight from AliExpress cost. No shipping charges whatsoever. So that's $8.50 some cents United States dollars. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I was curious about it. Now, I've already opened the package and I've charged this up because I needed to... <laughs> I, I couldn't just let this one go. So this is the packaging on the inside. All right. Now, when you see this, you got to kind of wonder whether or not this was enough packaging. It was a uh, too short bag, basically, of bubble wrap that didn't cover all the way to the end. It wasn't taped. And then there was also this loose tripod also in there, too. So this was really, um, yeah, I... I can't explain how funny this was to get this package. Uh, but at the same time, at the same time, this is the flashlight. Now, you may have seen this on AliExpress. I don't know. You may not have. Uh, this flashlight to me was just, I was really curious about it. Now, it has a huge reflector and very deep reflector. And if you can see, even the lens itself has kind of a, uh, a pyramid shape to it. So I think that even collates even more light towards the center. This is a pure spotlight. I mean, this throws a spot out there that is so tight that uh, it really honestly makes the most out of all the lumens that it has. Now, I think the lumen count on this, I don't know what the, it does, there's nothing on the box. Let me pull up the box here. I don't see anything on the box that would indicate how many lumens this thing puts out, what the candela is or even the distance on here. I looked on AliExpress several times because I thought I missed it, and I still don't know what the lumen is on this. Now, I would estimate the lumens on this to be right around 2,000 lumens maybe, 1,000, 1,500, something like that. The battery in here I'm estimating because it's a 7,000 milliamp battery is what they list, is probably a 21,700, okay? It has one big LED emitter in here. I can't even get this underneath the camera. Um, without there you go there's the led emitter all right right there and uh does a good job it's very blue it is the cri on this is extremely low uh it's just it's cheap it's eight dollars let's just say it's a nine dollar flashlight us dollars so um, what i do like about this though is that this also has a discharge port in other words you can charge other devices so you have a type c input for charging and a type a for discharging or charging up other devices so that's pretty neat. I mean, that's one, something I looked at. It's like, well, if anything, if the light doesn't work, maybe it just will be an extra battery for charging things up. Now, what I see on this side, okay, this is molded plastic or inject, injection molded plastic, but it's two halves. You can take these two halves apart. I am going to do that. I'm going to take this thing apart. I want to see what the battery is on the inside of this. And yes, they are all Phillips screws. So we'll take that out and do something with that and just see what the internals look like. But I have to, so I took this outside and I was shocked. Now, I made fun of this the entire time. From the time it showed up in my doorstep, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. This flashlight may not even work. Took it out of the box. There was no charge in the battery, so I charged it up. And that night, uh, it was probably within 24 hours of getting the, the flashlight. I took it out that night, turned it on. And actually, the way out to, to, uh, to my spot where I turn on the flashlights and do my testing, which is on a path, um, I was just like, there's no way. This thing is going to be a piece of junk. And I turned it on as soon as I get down the front steps. And I'm like, ooh, this is bright. A matter of fact, I think I did that in the house. And uh, I was like, ooh, this is bright. I looked at my wife. I was like, I don't know about this being such a bad flashlight. <laughs> and so that night I took it out. And sure enough, this thing lights up the night. Now, it's extremely focused. So even if you had low lumens, you have a high candela for sure. You're going to see the video here in just a minute. This is all guesswork. I don't have anything to, to, pre, to actually calculate this right now. I do have my lumen tube, and I haven't set it up and calibrated it yet, and I'm going to do that. Um, I just want to get this video out there because this is such a unique flashlight. And honestly, I'm impressed. <laughs> I am actually impressed. For $8 or $9, 
I'm impressed because of how bright this is, how focused of a beam it is. We'll get to light here in just a minute and we'll talk about the switches and a few other things on the outside. Uh, just really impressed. Now, the plastic on here, although it feels cheap, it does feel substantial. I don't see this as something that's going to chip if you drop it. Now, the lens itself is, I don't know, that's, it's, <laughs> it's a unique lens. But even so, it's not that heavy. It's actually very lightweight. Um, completely encased in plastic. Now, I think this door is going to come off. This door has a rubber gasket on here. I think this is the waterproof rating right here. The waterproof rating of push, which is probably a negative two. Um, but it, it has a little, you know, keeps the fog out maybe. Um, that's kind of it. Now, it has a Picatinny rail. You're dang right. I'm going to be mounting something on this Picatinny rail because if you put a Picatinny rail on something, I'm mounting something on it. That's what that's what it is. Uh, that's what it's for, and I'm going to do that. I'm knocking stuff over on my desk here, because it's <laughs> this is an unusually shaped flashlight. So I'm mounting something on there. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be, but we're going to have fun with that. Here is your your UI, your user interface, and it is a high, medium, low strobe off, and you have to go all the way through in that order. When you turn it on, it goes to high. We'll just turn it on right here. It goes to high, then it goes to medium, low strobe off okay this is also your indicator your charge indicator down here so when you're charging you have four lights and when it's all the way lit up and stops blinking you are fully charged it takes a long time for this thing to charge which is why i want to open this up and see if there's just a 21700 battery in here and if there is i may just take it out charge it put it back in i think it might be faster to disassemble this charge it reassemble it than it is to actually use the charging port so Fun flashlight. Here we go. We're going to look at some of the uh, the video on this, but I have to say, would I recommend this flashlight? Because I don't remember what I put, what I said on the on the video outside. Because it's been about three weeks since I've done the video. But I have to say, would I recommend this flashlight? Because I don't remember what I put, what I said on the on the video outside. Because it's been about three weeks since I've done the video. I absolutely would recommend this for nine dollars. You you can't go wrong for nine nine U.S. dollars on this flashlight with a, a charging and discharge port on here. You can charge other devices on here. And I have charged my phone on here. It does charge. I plugged it in. The green light went on. So yeah. It does. Now, whether or not that sends all of my data to China because this is some kind of transmitter, I have no idea. Uh, maybe it is, maybe it's not. Um, I think it's really probably one of the most technologically influenced tactical flashlights because it has a Picatinny rail on the handle where you really, really need to have a pick rail. You need to have it on the handle where you grab, yes, Picatinny rail there. Okay. Now, it does have a tripod mount. I didn't mention this. Um, but you have a tripod mount. This is what it comes with is a tripod. It actually, this, I love this tripod. Um, it screws in just like any tripod mount for a camera. And actually you can screw it in using the, there we go. Using the, the method that's probably more user friendly here. We'll get that tightened down and it gets on tight. I tell you what, I've got this thing so it doesn't move. Um, and I'll do it again here. I'm going to get as tight as I can with my fingers and uh it has a rubber uh rubber floor plate on here so it's it's not going to move very much now you also have a screw right here a tension screw and you can loosen this and you can move this around now that's important because when you kick the, the tripod out and this i am i'm genuinely impressed with this tripod when you kick this out you can move this up and down tighten it with your thumb screw with the thumb set screw and <laughs> it's really effective and this plastic i think it's solid the legs are solid um and it really as far as the handle goes like these two come together and you end up with a handle okay now the picatinny rail makes total sense now i understand why you would put a ticket picatinny rail on the top here because you're holding it down here like a camera doesn't this look like an old-fashioned video camera i think it's awesome yeah yeah buddy we're going to go out and get me some, we're going to get some predators with this one. All right. 
So genuinely impressed with the tripod. Genuinely. I, this is actually something, if this all breaks down, I'm keeping the tripod. Um, and I'll strip the battery out probably and throw the rest away. But, I mean... <laughs> It has uh, detents in here so that you're you're not it's not tension all the way. There's actually a resting point that you can kind of tighten on to. Um, wow, yeah. So let's take a look outside. Let's see what the uh, the video on the the actual outdoor illumination looks like. All right, we're going to test the. I'm not exactly sure what the name brand is, but we're going to give this one a go. And it starts out at high, medium, low don't think there's an ultra low and then there's a strobe that you have to go through to turn it off so let's go and start with this is high now that first sign is 10 yards 21 yards 50 yards no problem like this is a very powerful spotlight now you'll notice the spill on this you can see it all the way out to the edges there not very good as far as distributing some light away from the spot the hot spot in the center but the hot spot in the center is amazing. The light itself is very blue, almost purple-like. So the CRI is just going to be super low. But it is for $20. This is where I was just thinking to myself, I don't think I can say the bad things I wanted to say about this light because it actually is pretty good. And the hot spot, it's pretty even as far as there's no donut in the center where it's a little bit dimmer or hotter on the edges or things like that. It's pretty even across the center. And let's go to medium, all right. Dims down pretty quick. And again, this is pure spotlight. There's low, yeah, the camera's handling it much better at low. And there's the strobe. So really an interesting flashlight. Um, has these red, or I'm sorry, blue lights that shine to let you know what the level of uh, the battery is or give yourself away if in a tactical situation, which this isn't a tactical light, but yeah, it's interesting light, very. All right, so that's the outdoor illumination test. This is just a brief overview of this flashlight. There's so little information on this because when you pay something, you pay $9 for something, um, they're not even sure what they're sending, I don't think. So we'll, we'll test this out. We're going to find out what high, how long high lasts on here, medium, low, all the different modes. And we'll find out what that works uh, as far as time goes. And then if there's any stepping down, I'm going to get my loom tube up, run, up and running. I've had it in my house now for two months. I just haven't, haven't uh, calibrated it yet. So get that up and running. Find out what the actual lumen is on this. I know the CRI is, is terrible on this because it's so off. It's, it's almost a purple that comes out of here. And uh, yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing realistic about what it lights up as far as color rendering. Um, battery life, we'll figure that out as well. Um, and also charging. So if I put my iPhone on here, how many charges can I get out of this battery? Let's say I don't use it, but it's fully charged and I charge my phone on this. How many, how many charges can I get on my iPhone with this? And do I lose any of my data on my phone when I do this? Um, that's tongue in cheek, folks. If you don't pick up on my humor, you're stop, rewind, play it over several times. You'll get it. Okay. I promise. All right. So let's, we'll, we'll come back with more information on this. I do recommend it just for the $9 fun factor. I think this is a great flashlight for that purpose. Um, it does actually do what it's designed to do. I'm not sure how long. Um, and we may even do a water test on this too, just to make sure that uh, it has or does not have any kind of water resistance. But I, I think this is a flashlight that you can actually use. <laughs> and, and to be honest, like that Picatinny rail is worth $9. You've got to have this Picatinny rail because if this handle breaks down, you've got something that's just tactical that you can grab onto. And, and there's nothing quite like grabbing a tactical handle. All right. Well, there you go, Matt. This is a review. My name is Tim. This has been another Real Ideal Gear review. Check out my website, realidealgear.com. You may see this flashlight on there. I may just say, hey, you know what? This needs to be rehomed to somebody else because I can't handle it. I can't handle this monstrosity. Uh, but check it out, realidealgear.com. I do sell watches, knives, flashlights out at that the, uh, website there. Some of the flashlights are paired up with Casio watches, and basically you're getting one of them for free. So if you like Casio watches or you like the flashlight, you're going to get a two-for-one deal on most of those things. So check it out, realidealgear.com. Thanks for watching. We'll, we'll talk again next time.